What if I told you that your phone is about to get smarter, safer, and more personal without you spending a single rupee? That's right, Samsung's biggest software upgrade of the year is officially here, and it's not just a boring update. It's a total refresh that will make your Galaxy feel brand new. But here's the twist. Not everyone is getting it at the same time, and some of the most exciting features are hidden behind a few clicks. Today, I'm breaking it all down so you know exactly what's coming, when you'll get it, and why this might be the most game, changing one UI update ever. Welcome back, viewers. JNAMES here. If you're loving these deep dives into tech, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video so more Galaxy fans can get the inside scoop. So here's the big news Samsung has officially confirmed the rollout of One UI 8 built on Android 16, and this one feels different. The update is all about making your phone more adaptive to your life, not the other way around. Until now, only the Z Fold, Z Flip series, and the Galaxy S25 FE had access to it. But Samsung just flipped the switch, and now the rollout is going wide, from flagships to mid-rangers to tablets. If you own a Galaxy S25 F4, Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, 23 FE, or even older foldables like the Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4, your turn is coming. And yes, Samsung hasn't forgotten the Galaxy A series users. A, A30, Center 5, A26, I've seen A55, A25, A16, A54, A34, A73, A33, they're all on the list. Even tablet users are getting some love with the Tab S10 series, Tab SX10 FE, Tab S9 lineup, and the whole Tab S8 family joining the party. But what's the big deal? This update is packed with AI that actually feels useful. The Now Bar and Now Brief are like having a personal assistant that learns your habits, serving up recommendations, updates, and even health insights without you lifting a finger. Multimodal AI takes things a step further by letting your phone understand voice, text, and visuals together, which means features like Circle to Search and Gemini Live just got way more powerful. Need to translate a menu, get live game tips, or pull up quick answers. You won't even have to leave the app you're in, and security, this is where Samsung flexes hard. Knox Matrix and Secure Wii. Fi now use post quantum cryptography. Yes, that's the same tech that's supposed to keep your data safe, even in a future where quantum computers exist. It's like putting a digital vault on your phone that's ready for threats that don't even exist yet. If you're into creativity and productivity, you'll love what's coming. Multi-window multitasking is smoother than ever, foldable users get better flex mode support, and new tools like Audio Eraser, Portrait Studio for Pets, and fresh wallpaper customization are here to play. Even accessibility gets a boost with AI, powered call captions and interpreter mode that make it easy to communicate across languages or in noisy spaces. Now, let's talk about timing, because this is where things get interesting. The rollout starts in South Korea with the Galaxy S25 Lenope, but it's expanding globally over the next few months. Some users will get it as early as next week, while others might have to wait until November. If you're impatient, you can join the beta program right now if you have a Galaxy A35, A36, or Galaxy S23 series. But be warned, beta builds can be buggy. The A35 beta is live with build version with A6, and it's about 2.2 GB, so grab some stable Wi-Fi before you download. The A36 beta just opened too, complete with the S Galaxy S23 users. You're in luck? Your beta is also live with firmware versions S91 UU 60Y HC, S9616 U1 U 60Y HC, and S918 U1 U 60Y HC for the S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra, respectively. That's a lot of tech jargon, but the point is this is your golden ticket to try one UI8 before anyone else. Sure, some might say this isn't a revolutionary upgrade, and maybe they're right, but what Samsung has done here is refine everything so your device feels smarter, more secure, and more you. And that, to me, is a win. So, what do you think? Are you enrolling in the beta right now or waiting for the stable update? Drop your thoughts below. I love hearing what you guys think. And hey, if you enjoyed this breakdown, smash that like button, subscribe for more, and share this with your fellow Galaxy users so they don't miss out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.